Welcome back. Thank you for watching the Overdose Response and Naloxone Train the Trainer video series provided by ASTHO for the Federated States of Micronesia. This video reviews how to answer frequently asked questions, provide a demonstration of naloxone administration, and assess participant knowledge. It will also share where to find and review the post assessment and answers. Throughout the training, participants will ask questions. Some will be reasonably easy to answer. You may also want to refer participants to the curriculum for more information. Part 1 of this training wrap-up video begins with frequently asked questions. Remember, participants receiving instruction in the opioid response and naloxone administration curriculum are likely to have varying levels of understanding of opioids before training, including when, why, and how to administer naloxone. There are six frequently asked questions about naloxone you may get from participants. Turn to section 3, page 18 of the curriculum. Become familiar with these questions and responses. Review them with participants during training. At this time, you can ask if anyone has any additional questions about naloxone administration or the training curricula. When training others, instruct them to ask questions before taking the knowledge assessment to test their learning. Let's review the six most frequently asked questions about naloxone. One, is naloxone temperature sensitive? The answer is yes. Naloxone should be stored at a temperature between 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Two, does naloxone expire? Yes, check the expiration date visible on the vial or atomizer. Three, can you still use expired naloxone? Yes, although it may not be as effective. Four, does naloxone enable opioid misuse? The answer is no. It is incredibly uncomfortable to go into acute withdrawal. Naloxone keeps a person alive so that they have a chance to seek recovery. Five, when do people regain consciousness after administering naloxone? In about one to three minutes in most cases. And six, can naloxone be used on pregnant women or children? Yes, it can. There has been no evidence showing harm. However, the drug can cause withdrawal for the fetus. It is crucial to seek medical care after a pregnant woman receives naloxone. If you know someone is allergic to naloxone hydrochloride, do not administer naloxone. Address any content-specific and clarifying questions at the time of the curriculum's learning instruction. For queries requiring more time, hold your response until the final question and answer session. If you do not know how to answer a question, email the ASTO team to determine the correct response. Then follow up with the training participant. Answering questions openly with a training group will help to facilitate an enriched learning experience for everyone. Allow 10 to 15 minutes before this session. Before closing out the training session, set aside more time to respond to questions. Once you've answered questions, participants are ready to begin the knowledge assessment with a review of process for responding to an opioid overdose. If there is access to a computer, internet, and a projector screen, have the training participants watch the following supplemental videos demonstrating the process of administering naloxone. The first video is the Narcan training video, Instructions for Administration of Narcan Nasal Spray 4MG. The second video is Administering Naloxone Nasal Spray by the Canadian Pharmacists Association. Both are helpful but are not a replacement for the naloxone administration training outlined in ASTO's third video in the Train the Trainer video series. Next, it is time for the naloxone knowledge assessment. As the trainer, you will ask the participants to demonstrate on a mannequin the six steps to responding to an opioid overdose. The curriculum clearly outlines the proper steps in section 2 on pages 13 to 16. As a train the trainer, Turn to section 3, page 17, and use the knowledge assessment checklist to ensure each participant successfully understands and demonstrates the process. Have each participant take turns showing you how to respond with naloxone during an opioid overdose. Pay close attention. Ensure everyone can properly administer naloxone by nasal spray and injection. After you have conducted the knowledge assessment of naloxone administration, it is now time to have participants complete the overall curriculum's post-assessment. 
Appendix F is the curriculum's participant post-assessment located on pages 29 to 31. This section evaluates how much information the participant has retained from the training. As a training facilitator, explain the Appendix F post-assessment. The first section tests knowledge and comprehension. The second section surveys overall satisfaction with the training curriculum and asks trainees how and where they plan to share the knowledge they've gained throughout training. The post-assessment will reveal the training group's change in knowledge compared to the pre-assessment completed before training. Once the post-assessment is completed, the participants can receive their award of completion. Complete and sign each award and distribute it to participants before closing out the training session. This portion of the training wrap-up should give you the confidence to successfully close out the participant Q&A and knowledge assessment. In the final Train the Trainer video, we will provide the last review of all Train the Trainer videos, what you need to know, and where to find information on training materials and resources.